the Linden Hall Library was founded on the 13th of May 1788 as the Belfast Reading Society, a local Irish United Kingdom instance of a wider spread movement for self-improvement through the establishment of libraries, museums, educational institutions. But the interesting thing is it's based on Franklin's Library Company of Philadelphia and from that um, sort of transatlantic link we have built up a tremendous collection of material relating to the history of Ireland, to the history of the north of Ireland, to the history of Belfast, going back over centuries. The Linden Hall Library is coming up to its 225th um, anniversary next year. Uh, we're here in the centre of Belfast where we've always been throughout our history. Uh, we're very um, open and inclusive and we're a neutral space. Uh, we do a number of exhibitions throughout the year. Um, you can see behind me this is the Titanic exhibition which is on at the moment. Um, we also have art exhibitions. We have a series called Local Art by Local Artists which runs every month. I think that the, the Lynn Hall Library is the only institution that uh, actively collects theatre material uh, from Ulster and later Northern Ireland. Um, and it's very important because we see our role as um, preserving the cultural life of uh, Northern Ireland as best we can. Now that's very often in most people's minds, you know, Seamus Seeney, Michael Longley and, and Brian Freel, but what we've tried to do is actually really reflect the sort of rich uh, theatrical history that's existed here. The political collection here is about uh, a quarter of a million items in all, as well as the kind of main academic and published books with a lot of items of ephemera, hundreds of thousands of items. But um, a few of the examples of stuff are um, some of the things here. This um, civil rights leaflet, dated about 1986, would have been one of the type of items that started off the started off the collection. Um, the librarian of the Lynn Hall at the time, James Vitti, was having a pint in town. A civil rights leafleter offered him a leaflet like that. I don't think that's the exact one, but a leaflet like that. And um, he realised the importance of that and started um, um, asking the staff in the library at the time to collect this type of ephemera stuff and keep it away. He saw that, um, that it would be worth keeping keeping for the future and out of that has grown the collection that we have now, about the 20,000 main items and then the, the few hundred thousand items of the family.